friends welcome to bio vidyalaya this is chitra in our previous video we discussed about some tricks to remember era period and epoch in correct order in this video i am going to discuss about major events of geological time scale this video will be helpful for those who are preparing for csr net license gate license and need examination so let's begin so this is the geological time scale chart we already discussed this chart in our previous video if you didn't watch that video link is here please go through that video in this uh video i am not going to discuss this chart so please go through that previous video so we are living in phenozoic eon cenozoic era quaternary period and holocene epoch let's see what are the major events in this geological time these are the events of these are the major events of geological time before the recent fenrosoic eon was precambrian so let's see what are the events of precambrian there are two eras in precambrian azoic and proterozoic azoic in azoic era origin of earth occurred there is there was no life at that era that is called azoic next is proterozoic the earliest life forms that time first clear evidence of life that is one celled bacteria appear protozoa sponges and algae appear oxygen begins to accumulate in the atmosphere atmosphere so you should remember here first clear evidence of life and uh, accumulation of oxygen in precambrian okay but uh, this is not that much of important mostly questions are asking from phenozoic eon so let's see what are the events of phenozoic eon in phenozoic eon there are three eras paleozoic mesozoic and cenozoic recent is cenozoic oldest is paleozoic in paleozoic era six period are there cambrian ordovician silurian devonian carboniferous and permian let's see what are the events occurred at cambrian period explosion of life forms invertebrates dominant invertebrates like worms jellyfish trilobites are dominant so here you have to remember explosion of life forms occurred at cambrian period okay next is ordovician period in ordovician period invertebrates dominate so we can say it is the period of age of invertebrates so age of invertebrates is ordovician next first vertebrates jawless fish appear in ordovician first land plants appear so here you have to remember first vertebrates age of invertebrates first land plants in ordovician here i am highlighting with the yellow color is most important at least you should remember that points if you can remember all the events means that is very good but uh, at least you should remember this highlighted events so here here in ordovician you have to remember uh, age of invertebrates first land plants and uh, first vertebrates next is silurian in silurian fish with jaws first uh, breathing animals next is devonian fish dominant so we can say it is age of fishes so age of fishes is devonian amphibians appear first amphibian appear in devonian 
first forest okay next is carboniferous amphibians dominant so we can say it is age of amphibians forest flourish reptiles and modern insects appear next is permian in permian period spread of reptiles and insects first mammal like reptiles mass or higher extinction panchia forms here mass or higher extinction is very very important um one question asked um, i don't know which year it is asked but uh, uh, this is very very important um i think it uh, it was in june 2008 there was a question highest extinction during the history of earth was observed during like that that is permian so you should remember that next is mesozoic era in mesozoic era three period are there triassic jurassic and cretaceous in triassic first dinosaur and first egg laying mammals was forest of ferns conifers and cycads gymnosperm appeared coniferous dominant here you you have to remember first dinosaurs appeared in triassic gymnosperm sorry gymnosperms appeared at triassic coniferous are dominant in triassic okay next is jurassic in jurassic dinosaurs are dominant this is the golden age of dinosaurs don't forget that you can related to that jurassic park movie uh, that is related to uh, dinosaur no so you can remember this like that first dinosaur first egg laying mammals sorry uh, in jurassic dinosaurs dominant primitive mammals spread tooth birds panchia splitter first bird so here you have to remember golden age of dinosaur and the first bird in jurassic next is cretaceous in cretaceous archaic mammals and birds begin to replace dinosaurs first flowering plants extinction of dinosaurs here you have to remember first flowering plants that is angiosperms appear and extinction of dinosaur in cretaceous next is paleogene period in paleogene period in cenozoic era there are three period paleogene neogene and quaternary paleogene and neogene both together we can say tertiary period in paleogene period there are three epoch paleocene eocene and oligocene let's see what are the events of paleocene earliest primate or we can say proto prosimins appeared in eocene prosimians flourish possible early monkeys in oligocene monkeys apes and other mammals sorry other mammals families evolves so in oligocene mammals are dominant here you have to remember mammals are dominant in oligocene next is neogene in neogene period two epoch are there neogene and pliocene in miocene apes flourish savanna grazing animals evolve in pliocene near human species called hominidins and other near modern mammals appear next is quaternary period in quaternary period two epoch are there 
Pleistocene and Holocene. In Pleistocene, recent ice ages, various human species evolved. Next is Holocene Epoch. This is the present climate. Only modern humans. So you have to remember these major events in geological time scale. If you can remember all the events means that is very good. If you are not able to uh, remember all the events means you can at least remember some of the important events. Let's see what are that most important event. One is uh, in uh, Precambrium, you should remember first clear evidence of uh, life that is unicellular uh, bacteria and uh, atmos um, accumulation of atmospheric oxygen. And Cambrian, you should remember, uh, you should remember explosion of life forms in Ordovician, age of invertebrates and uh, first land plants. You should remember that in Silurian, fish with jaws, first air breathing animals. Next in Devonian, age of fishes and amphibians appear. In Carboniferous, amphibians are dominant. So, it is called age of amphibians. And uh, uh, forest flourish. That is not that much of important. But you should remember at least age of amphibians for Carboniferous. Permians, mass or higher extinction. And uh, or Pantia forms. In Triassic, uh, First dinosaur appear and the gymnosperms evolved. Conifers are dominant. In Jurassic, dinosaurs are dominant. First bird evolved and uh, Pangea splitted. Uh, in Cretaceous, angiosperms evolved. That means first flowering plants evolved. Um, and uh, extinction of dinosaurs that is very very important. Gymnosperms evolved in uh, Triassic and Angiosperms evolved in Cretaceous. Don't forget that. Next uh, important is uh, mammals are dominant in Oligocene and uh, hominids in Pliocene. Um, Ice Age is Pleistocene and modern humans in Holocene. Age of reptiles is called the Mesozoic era and age of mammals is Cenozoic. You should remember that also. So, let's see one question. This is a question from December 2012. Question is, some important events in the history of life on earth are given below. Statement A. First vertebrates, jawless fishes, first plants. B. Forest of ferns and conifers, amphibians, arrest, insect, radiate. C. Confort dominant, dinosaur arises, insects radiate. D. Flowering plants appear, climax of dinosaurs followed by extinction. E. Radiation of flowering plants, most modern mammal orders represent. F. Ice ages, modern humans appear. Mark the above with the geological time periods and choose the correct combination. This is a combination type question. In combination type question, there is no need to uh, know everything. You can answer if you know some statements. If you know some events means you can answer this combination type question. So let's see how to answer these questions. The first statement is 
first vertebrates jawless fishes first plants first plants appear in ordovician that is that is the age of invertebrates at that period only first vertebrates appear so you can say this is ordovician so let's see the option in option a silurian in option b ordovician in option c cambrian in option b devonian so in option b ordovician is there okay next b forest of ferns and conifers amphibians arise insects radiates amphibians arise um uh, in Devonian, um, but uh, sometimes it is confused with the uh, carbon for us. Here, there is no Devonian in any of any of these options. First, in option A, Permian. Option B, Carboniferous. Option C, Odovision. Option B, Permian. So there is. Uh, there is no, there is no uh, devonian in any option. So there is a confusion. But carboniferous is there in option B. So let's leave that statement. Next go for the statement C. Confers dominant dinosaurs arise in such radius. Confer, confers dominant dinosaurs arise. We can blindly say that it is in Triassic. Dinosaurs arise in Triassic. Dinosaurs dominant in Jurassic. Extinction of dinosaurs in Cretaceous. So we can say that dinosaurs arise conifer dominant in Triassic. Let's see the option. In option A, C is Triassic. Option B, C is Triassic. Option C, Silurian. Option D is also Triassic. So here, in three options, Triassic is there. Okay. Next, D. Flowering plants appear. Climax of dinosaur. Yes, followed by extinction. Extinction of uh, dinosaurs and angiosperm, that is flowering plants, appear in Cretaceous. Let's see the options. In option A, D is Jurassic. So this is not correct. Jurassic. Dinosaurs are dominant, so Jurassic is not correct. So option D is, is Cretaceous is there. This is correct. This is Devonian, so this is also not correct. In uh, option D, it is there. So in option B and option D, Cretaceous is there. Next, go for statement E. Radiation of flowering plants most modern mammals order represented. Uh, age of mammal is uh, tertiary period. Or we can say it is uh, in Oligocene epoch or Paleogene period. So here it is given a tertiary. Age of mammals is uh, tertiary. Here it is Cretaceous. It is uh, tertiary. It is Permian. Uh, it is tertiary. If it, if you are uh, not sure means uh, if you are not sure means let's leave that statement and go for the next statement. Option F is Ice Ages or Modern Human Appear. Modern Humans in Quaternary, the recent period. 
So let's see. Option A, treasury is the, the so it is not correct. Quaternary is in option B, that is correct. Option C, treasury, not correct. Quaternary is the in option D, that is correct. So let's see. Here, we are confused with this carboniferous and uh, This is uh, this is not correct, no. First, France is not in Devonian. B is also not correct. Ambivalence not arise in Permian. Okay, so we can say it is in Carboniferous. So the answer is. Option B, A, Odovision, B, Carboniferous, C, Triassic, D, Cretaceous, E, Tertiary, or Quaternary. Let's see another method to answer this combination type question. Before that, I want to erase this one. Let's erase this one. Okay, let's see. First statement is, first vertebrate, jawless fishes or first plants. If you know that, um, that um, even means, you can answer here. It's less search. Otherwise, you can leave that one. Next, forest of ferns, ambibian threads. That is also confused means. Leave that statement also. C statement is dinosaurs arrays. Conifer dominant. So, we can blindly say that it is in Triassic. So, let's see where Triassic. Option A is Triassic is there. Option B is there. Option D is also Triassic is there. Next is flowering plants appear extinction of dinosaurs uh, that occur in Cretaceous. So where it is Cretaceous here Cretaceous is there here Cretaceous is there here Jurassic is there. So the option a is incorrect. Here, option C is also incorrect. Okay. Next, go for the next statement. Radiation of flowering plant most modern mammals orders represent. Age of mammal is Tertiary. Mammals are dominant in Paleogene. Okay, so we can say tertiary. So let's see where tertiary is there. Already we confirmed that option A and C are incorrect. So let's see option B and D. Here tertiary is there. And uh, here, treasury is there. Okay. Next is, uh, next is Ice Ages. Modern humans appear. Let's see the F statement. Um, modern humans in quaternary. Ice Ages is also in quaternary period. So, let's see the options. Here quaternary is there. And here is also quaternary is there. Now, we are in confused state. Because option C, D, 
E and F are correct in option B and D. So let's go for the statement A and B. First vertebrates and first plants. Let's see the option. Uh, Ordovician is there and Devonian is there. We know that in Devonian, that is the age of fishes and the first amphibians. Okay. First amphibians in Devonian. That is the um, age of fishes. That means fish is dominant in that period. So we can confirm that fish evolved. First fish formed in period before that. So we can say that option D is Incorrect. A is not Devonian. Okay. And uh, so we can blindly say that option B is correct. Let's see the option uh, statement B also. Forest ferns, cone ferns, amphibians are raised in such radius. Here we have confused, uh, confused with the uh, Carboniferous and the Devonian because in Devonian we told that amphibians evolved in um, Devonian and um, age of amphibians that means amphibians dominant in Carboniferous so we are confused with that one let's see uh, uh, the options here B it is given Carboniferous and but in option B it is given that Permian. What is the event? Per, in Permian mass extinction was occurred. So it is also not correct. So we can say that option B is correct. This is the way to answer the combination type question. So there is no need to know all the things for answering combination type questions. So don't avoid this combination type questions. You must attend. Okay. So here I am winding up this video. If you like this video and find it helpful, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Keep learning. Thank you.